So this is uh, it's a film, it's adapted from a novel by José Saramago, it's a Nobel Prize uh, writer, Portuguese writer. I read this book in 97, I hadn't done any features so far, and, uh, and I loved the book, I mean I read it in two days, and couldn't stop reading it, so I decided to buy the rights and I said, I'm going to do my first feature, and that was going to be it. And, uh, and it's a story of, uh, this is in the city, this one guy suddenly goes blind, he's driving and he goes blind, and then everybody gets infected, and then after a while, everybody is blind. So in the first hours, they, they, they create this kind of quarantine to, to confine, to confine some, some blind people, and, and, and this, most of the story happens inside this asylum. And, uh, and actually, it's, it's not a story about the disease, and people finding the cure for a disease. It's really a metaphor uh, of our incapacity of seeing, you know, seeing ourselves, seeing the other. So it's, uh, I think it's a very poetical film. I think what got me to, to the story, what, what I liked it about, is that the film, the, the story reviews uh, that underneath this cover of civilization that we have, we're really primitive animals, you know. So something happens and we're reduced to our basic uh, instincts all becomes, it's all about eating and sex, and, you know. I think this film is, is very different, because as you said, the other films that I did, uh, they were based on, on, on real, real stories, real places, so there's a favela, there's Africa, there's pharmaceutical industry, so immediately when you start watching the film, you can relate to, to, to the story, because you know, you read about it, and, and you know uh, what, what, what it's talking about. And in this film, everything is, is, is invented, right? I mean, it, it, the story is set in a city that doesn't exist, it's a generic city, shot in three different cities, and uh, the characters, they have no name, they have no past, they have no history. So we follow some characters that we have no reference of who they are, and the film doesn't give you much. It's a film really about human nature, and that's human nature, unfortunately.